Is Disney's new American-born Chinese actually for American-born Chinese or will it pander to the mainstream audience? Yeah, we got to talk about it because the trailer just dropped for this very high-budget series from Disney Plus, Andrew. It's almost the exact same cast as Everything Everywhere All at Once plus Whoa. Daniel Wu. And of course, the title is American-born Chinese. A lot of people are got to be looking at that like, hey, that's me. That title is exactly uh, what yeah. I am. What's this whole show about? I, I'm wondering that. Because I'm very ABC. But anyways, guys, we're going to talk about the multitude of reactions here. Uh, we got, I know a lot of uh, familiar faces that are in this show. Obviously, it is on Disney+, Plus, so it is a Disney show. So it might not be for everybody, but it could be good. I think a lot of people are wondering, David, is that based off the trailer, it does kind of feel or look like a lot of... I guess, Chinese-based material that we've seen in the past five years. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll give our personal takeaways, guys. We are the Hot Pop Boys from Silly to Serious. You know we're talking about it all. Please hit that like button right Real now. Real quick, Andrew, we got to talk about how American Born Chinese was actually originally a novel by Gene Yang. It's a bestseller. One of the storylines is a kid who's like kind of nerdy. He wants to be cool. There's another storyline with the Monkey King. There's another storyline with a white kid in it, like interfacing with his uh, cousin, who I guess is like very stereotypically an Asian nerd and the original guy feels sort of ashamed by that and it's all interwoven together. Why do you say, Andrew, that the trailer had like a mishmash of Chinese American movie themes? Okay, because we've been keeping up with the material and maybe you have too, but obviously um, just actor-wise and cast-wise, it's a little bit of everything everywhere all at once. Big hit, Oscar. Right, right. everybody uh, from that movie, like 80% Oscars. of the cast is in there. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it was a great movie, though. Uh, but also some Chain Can Dunk vibes because it's a Disney movie right. and Ben, ben And Wayne. it's also about a nerdy guy trying to be cool. So they, those, are, those are very adjacent stories. Right. But and, I would, and I think that this is the central source of like some criticism, but also some people being like, oh yeah, it looks good. It looks yeah. like a mixture of all five things. And other people are like, dude, it's a mixture of all five things. No way I want to see that. Isn't that so funny? People can have just different reactions to the same <laughs> statement. I love this. It's a mix. I hate it. It's a mix. So that leads us into our first internet comment, Andrew. I love this squad of actors changing drama to drama. It's just like the dramas in Asia where they keep the cast together. But then I guess on the other side, it's also maybe bad because it's just the same actors being in everything. Nah, it reminds me of Hong Kong cinema when Andy Lau and Tony Leung and then all those guys from Infernal Affairs. Oh, Eric Sang, RIP. Yeah. yeah, Eric Sang, RIP. And then even the, uh, everybody's like in the same movies. Yeah, and like one time the guy's like the cop and the other one, he's the Dai Lo. He's yeah, like the, sometimes yeah. they're the crooked cop, but they all play cops at some point, right? Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, maybe that's just how all Asian things are destined to be. I know K-dramas as well, well sometimes keep the same cast hey, together. Hey, well, let me tell you this, man. Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once, man. That sure was a big hit. Let's get the gang back together. Then there was a lot of comments about the graphic novel that it was originally based off of. How close is it going to be? Is it going to be a loose adaptation? Why is everything based off of a book? Because CRA was based off a book and why is everything based off of a book i mean if it's a successful story already guys i mean a lot of things are based off of previous stories aladdin like nothing is really like unique anymore like nothing's like super original it's based off some mythology or some folk tale or or some book that did well because to be honest that's great source material it's a great story already yeah so. i also think it provides a floor for the material but also a floor mm. in terms of demographic base yeah. because the book was already a bestseller i want to come out right now and say that disney has always impressed me maybe it's a disney thing so it's not fully for me but chain can dunk was way better than the trailer showed yeah yeah right? we do gotta so say I that think american born chinese will be way better than the trailer showed if you think the trailer is kind of And also iffy. it depends on who cut the trailer and sort of like the eye from the, the, the trailer editor. Right, right, um, right. Moving on, somebody was like, oh man, I think Michelle Yeoh is total perfection, beauty, confidence, and intelligence. God, I cannot tell you how much I love this woman. And there were some <laughs> other ones about, uh, you know, Wait, David, Asian are we, women. Are we shocked that this guy says he's an astrophysicist? No, I mean, I Even though, say, you know, based off the astrophysicist uh, degree, I don't believe in the most Multiverses, but by the way, I do think that Michelle Yeoh has this classiness that reminds people of almost uh, Hollywood stars from the yesteryear, uh, almost like an Audrey Hepburn oh, from England and things like that. Wow. Because uh, you know they capture that sort of uh, colonial boarding school thing. She's a How, yeah, she's very very quite... cla classy lady. But I would say that um, right now, studios, Andrew, nobody can really change society. Let's just say in the Western world, there is a lot of fetishization. Let's be honest, right? Yeah, I'm not saying everybody, yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying there's a healthy amount of it For or sure. like a, a lot of it. Or an unhealthy amount. Yeah, unhealthy amount. How, how, uh, how I use that word. But like there's a heavy volume of fetishization in the Western world towards Asian women. I think that studios do calculate that and they're just going to utilize it because 
It's not like they can change it. Their job is to get ROI based off the pre-existing societal dynamics. Yeah, I agree. Somebody said, wait, so Michelle Yeoh was Malaysian, Ki Hui Kwan is Vietnamese, but they're just all Chinese? This is real confusing to me. Uh, yes, the Chinese diaspora is confusing, man. I get what you're saying. <laughs> because they're like, they're an American-born Chinese, but I thought he was from Vietnam and she's from Malaysia. Well, that's right, sautéing no, fun. That had they, nothing to do with the Monkey King. It is confusing when you say, oh, this person's Chinese, so they're from China or their roots are from China. Like, no, 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 the roots are from Malaysia, but pro originally China, right? Right. Like well, because the Chinese diaspora in Southeast Asia is so gigantic and it is so, like, a historical. I, I, I'm guess. just saying all of them speak Mandarin. I'm just saying yeah. all of them speak Mandarin. <laughs> Even Ki Hui Kwan speaks Mandarin. And Cantonese, I think. Yeah. Really, uh, Somebody said, I'm Asian American, and I personally want to come out and say that I hate these AAPI shows. It doesn't appeal to me. I can tell they're trying way too hard in so many aspects. I would rather watch motherland content from back in Asia or even just regular American content. I do not like this mix. Well, you know, we're looking at the demographics and the rising Asian immigration here to this country. And we believe that making shows like this uh, means that there's a great market for this. So it might not be for everybody, but it's going to be for a lot of people. Right. And um, <laughs> not everybody's going to like it. You know, different people like different things, especially Disney things, like we said, Andrew. They're not designed to appeal to your ultra hipster, like A24, like uh, Lions, yeah. not Lionsgate, but, you know, one of those other hipster movie You know what I houses. thought was really cool in this story? Uh, I heard that there's a lot of, like, FOB versus ABC dynamics. Like, the ABC feels one way about life is maybe not as confident, and then the FOB, who's actually mystical, comes from, like, who's, like, a, the, the offspring of a deity. He's very confident in himself so there is kind of like some relatable topics that we've discussed on this channel where a lot of like you're saying uh, uh aspects that have yet to be fully articulated in the western narrative yeah somebody said uh hey listen i hear you out but you're being small-minded they got to appeal to the entire usa market and beyond so that's why it's not very similar to asia asia content so whether you like it or not you just got to shut up and support it no, you don't have to support everything, but I think that it is going to surprise you. That's my guess. Somebody said, I'm an ABC, and I'm so sick of this wuxia pian dynastic ancient mythology theme that is like 70% of Chinese things. Why can't we be modern like South Korean content or Japanese content or at least a mix? Japanese content is so futuristic, and Chinese content is so stuck in the past. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are looking at Beef that just came out, and Beef, the Netflix series with Ali Wong and Steven Yun, is actually more based around like the Korean American community oh, in LA. Yeah. Dude, what if this? Korean American stories are always present based. Okay. Japanese American stories are always future based. Akira, whatever, right? And Chinese stories are always ancient based. Whoa! It seems like it holds true, uh, guys. Parasite, modern day. Not gonna lie. Sounds logical. Good way yeah. to put it. But, and somebody said, yeah, even when Japanese do things like the Monkey King, because essentially Goku from Dragon Ball Z is essentially literally just based off the Monkey King, right. it's still modernized and not old school. So somebody said, why do you think Chinese are so old school about everything? Bro, because we we got we got all the old school. Yeah, the we, old school we are is the, us. It's, we're the, the old school is Chinese. That's the ancient culture. I'm not saying uh, everything is but, Chinese but, today. Andrew, wouldn't you notice that some people are really proud of that, but other people are turned off by that? Because it, it could go both ways. Like we're saying, there's a lot of dynamics. You could slice it both ways. Listen, for me, I am proud that China has such an illustrious ancient history. I'll never, I don't ever want to discount that. But I do myself live in the mod i am not a deity from 2000 years ago and, and like just aging like if i was actually, you're not no. from the song or tang dynasty david if my soul was actually 2000 years old i would think of this life as just a little blip in the world history but since i am a human and i'm living right now then i have to be concerned with how i am viewed right now <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> somebody said let me guess there's still going to be some major white actors in this but there will be no major black or latino actors huh i wonder why something called american born chinese will still have major white roles in it but not for other ethnicities hmm is it because of white adjacency or because asians or specifically chinese worship whites I, 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 I can't speak on this one, guys. Hey, it's, it's, that's, a, it's a good point. See, solid that's what, comment. I will say this. No, good point. That's why I've always was a fan of Rush Hour. Good point. And even Cradle the Grave, 
with uh, Jet Li and DMX, not as oh. good, but it was like, I'd like to swing and at it. And shout out to Sucker Free City. You go, go watch that movie. Yeah, Ken with Learn. Ken Learn Ken and uh, Anthony, Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Go watch that movie, Sucker Free City. The, uh, this, of course, uh, was a huge comment section, Andrew. I put it north towards the end. This was from non-Asian people. Go for it. This looks like it sucks. Not for me, man. They, you see, I can just tell from the face of these people they hate America, but they got the nerve to sit, throw the, the Chinese American in there when it should just be Chinese-born Chinese, and they should make the whole thing in Chinese and make it over in China. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, they would make it for cheaper yeah, over in China. Said, There's nothing American about Michelle Yeoh having these eight hands <laughs> with all these eight religious Confucian Buddhist Taoist gods in there. What's so American about that? I'm American. I don't understand that. <laughs> I like this comment. Can I have a show called American Born German? Huh? Why not? Reverse racism. Yeah. I mean, hey, guys, listen. Anything Chinese right now, to a certain portion of the population is going to be very controversial. Super emotional, Interestingly man. enough, though, Andrew, uh, I think there's so many different slices in a very big America right now. Disney is not banking on the people who just left these like comments to watch the show. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're 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 not. We don't need uh, what was the name you to watch the show. That's it's not relying on your viewers. Yeah, um, when we did our demographic research, we went ahead and left Cletus off. We didn't factor that Cletus was, we didn't predict that he was going to watch the show. All right, Andrew, let's get into our takeaways, man. What do you think? There were some people giving this show props. Some people said, let's wait and see. Some people were roasting it. Some people were like, man, why is everything so ancient? Where, where do you stand on this? I, I think it's progress. I don't think that, you know, if you're not an avid Disney watcher, Right? Maybe you watch The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, but maybe you don't care for the other stuff because you know you don't love like the Disney vibe as much. I totally understand that. You don't have to watch this series. I'm not promoting this. I did not get paid to promote it either, but I'm not telling you you gotta go sign up for Disney. I'm gonna tune into at least one episode. Yeah, but listen, if you're gonna call it American born Chinese and that's what I am, I'm I'm going to check it out, yeah. but no, um, at the end of the day, but don't, don't actively hate it, man. Just support something out there. That's all I got to say. Why do you think all these stories have to do with a middle to maybe slightly upper middle class nerd who is trying to like, is uncomfortable with their position in American society, but then somehow they like, I guess they, they gain some sort of status uh, through some weird way of accepting themselves, but also becoming like a superhero. You know, That's, I, that was turning red as well. I think what we need to talk about more is why that in particular is such a Chinese American and Asian American male story. Right. This right here, from Chang Can Dunk to ABC to any other movie, Harold and Kumar was even yeah sort of like about this. an Asian guy who doesn't feel cool, who's trying to overcome that. Why? Why is that well, the story? By the way, I think that that is a. Uh Let's just say there's a pie slice of all the different uh, archetypical experiences of Asian Americans. I do think it's quite a large slice, but I don't think it's even 50% of the pie. I think it's a very large slice of the pie, Andrew, but it also gets overrepresented because the kids from that experience go on to become script writers or book writers. I, I, I think it's, I, I might disagree with you a little bit on this one. I think it's over 50%. I think it's extremely relatable. I don't think everybody feels it on the same intensity, but a lot of people can share some of these feelings of right, being for underrated. For sure, because then why but, is even Shang Chi a little bit like that, except he doesn't uh, study yeah, hard. But He's a little bit of an underachiever slacker type. And my whole point is, I think we should be having this conversation more, and it kind of relates to what John Cho said uh, a few weeks ago on a podcast where it was like about being an Asian male, and this is just yeah, it was about being having an invisible pariah stamp on your forehead. This is such an Asian male dynamic. Like I just cannot. <laughs> it's just I guess it's just. Def defining of our experience. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's particularly defining of a lot of Asian American males that grow up around non-Asians. Dude, when all you these grow up stories, in the Enclave or Hawaii, I think it's different. David, all these stories are about basically Asian guys like growing their dicks. Yeah. Essentially, going from small dick energy to big dick energy. That's what a lot of these stories are in a in, through a masculinity lens. All right, so... I don't want to spoil it for people, but it has more to do with embracing and accepting your own identity rather than changing your identity. Do you think that that is a good message or a bad message? I think it is a good message ultimately for people's happiness, but I don't think it will actually change societal dynamics. If everybody's like, yeah, I was born a small Asian nerd and I just learned to love it. Uh, because that's obviously, that's good though. It's good for yourself to be happy, but it also is not going to change the placement of that dynamic in an American cultural positioning spacing. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below, man, because like ultimately like 
there's a lot of Chinese based content that's coming out there with a lot of big stars. So you guys let me know, are you excited about watching the show or not? And what else would you like to see? All right, so what if you're a person that's not happy about this type of content, Andrew? Do you need to cheer while this candle burns? Or do you need to not cheer? Or like, what if you don't fully like the way this candle smells as it's burning away? Support something else. Do, I don't know, say what it, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because these things are getting made with or without you, okay? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys that is it. You let me know what you think about American Born Chinese. Yeah, it could be good, guys. Who knows? I have not seen it yet. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Ambitious title name. Until next time, we the Hop Out Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.